Hello and welcome everyone to my channel. Topic for today's video is inventory models. Basically in this video we will be covering two models that is Q model and P model. So let's begin with what are different inventory models are there. So inventory models. There are two types of inventory model, single period inventory model and multi period inventory model. So in multi period inventory model, there are further two types of models that is fixed order quantity model and fixed time period model. The fixed order quantity model is called Q model and fixed time period model is called P model. It is in multi period inventory model. And in Q model, there are two types of model Q model with safety stock and Q model without safety stock. So in this video, we will be covering fixed order quantity model that is Q model and fixed time period model that is P model. So let's start with fixed order quantity model that is Q model. In this model or system, a fixed quantity of material is ordered whenever the stock on hand reaches the reorder point. The fixed quantity is nothing but the economic order quantity that is how much to order. Fixed order quantity model with safety stock. So the diagram of fixed order quantity model with safety stock is there are three lines that is maximum level, reorder level and minimum level and below minimum level there is a safety stock. So whenever the inventory reaches the minimum level that is called the reorder point or the reorder level according to fixed order quantity model. There is always a safety stock is maintained in this model. Another one is fixed order quantity model without safety stock. So the diagram of this is there are only three levels that is maximum level, reorder level and minimum level. There is no safety stock is maintained. So whenever inventory reaches the minimum level that is called the reorder point and in this model inventory decreases at constant rate. Now the fixed time period model or P model. In fixed time period system or model Inventory is counted only at particular times, such as every week or every month. Counting inventory and placing orders periodically are desirable in situations when vendors make routine visits to customers and take orders for their complete line of product. In this model, the stock position of each item is regularly reviewed. When the stock level of a given item is not sufficient to sustain production operation until the next review, an order is placed. All right. so in this model basically we see the time period that after this particular time we have to reorder the stock so the diagram of this p model is there are r1 s1 r2 s2 r3 s3 where r1 r2 r3 are review period s1 s2 s3 are supply points and lt always a lead time so whenever a particular time that is a review period come the stock is reordered so after a particular time the stock is reorder in this P model. Next one is the difference between Q model and P model. So the very first basis of difference is quantity ordered. In Q model, the same amount ordered each time. Whereas in P model, the amount of order varies each time order is placed. Second basis of difference is when to place order. In Q model, when inventory position drops to reorder level, a order is placed. Whereas in P model, when the review period arrives, the order is placed. Third basis of difference is record keeping. In Q model, each time withdrawal or addition is made, the record is being kept. Whereas in P model, the inventory counted only at review period. Fourth one is size of inventory. In Q model, the size of inventory is less than P model. And in P model, of course, the size of inventory is more than Q model. The fifth basis of difference is time to maintain. Q model takes higher time due to perpetual record keeping, whereas P model takes less as compared to Q model because they record periodically, not perpetual. Sixth and the last one is type of item kept. In Q model, critical, important, and high price item are kept. And in P model, cheaper, non-important items are kept or recorded. So that's all about today. Hope you like this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.
थैंक यू सो मच